all of us know that Singapore is an expensive city to live in. Cars are getting expensive, housing is becoming unaffordable, inflation is at an all-time high, and by next year, GST be like, hello. So in this video, I want to share some tips and tricks on how to save money. If done correctly, you'll be able to save at least $100 every month or even more. But before I start, I would greatly appreciate it if you can help to tap the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so. In return, I will show you Dancing Pikachus. Alright, let's start right now. I will start off with the most important tip in this list, credit cards. Just in case you do not know already, credit card is an absolute essential if you want to save money. So get a card that suits your spending habits. But if you are unsure, here's my recommendation. For cashback card, a good all-rounder card like the UOB Evo card will give you 8% cashback for online spend and mobile contactless spend. Cap at $20 for each category if you can meet the $600 minimum spend requirement. Or if your spending is low, the HSBC Revolution card will give you 2.5% cashback on online and offline contactless spend. For mouse card, a good card to get would be the City Rewards card, paired with Instagram Amaze. It will give 4 miles per dollar for online and mobile contactless spend, excluding travel-related transactions. So with the correct card, you'll be able to easily save on almost all of your expenses, whether it's dining, shopping, traveling, or even big expenses like income tax, hospital bills, and insurance premiums. But wait, there's more. Whenever you sign up for a new card, you will get free sign-up gifts. And no, the sign-up gift is not something lame like free pen or free water bottle. Instead, the gift is usually worth $200 or more, like a free Apple AirPods Pro, or a free Dyson hair dryer, or a free Xiaomi robot vacuum. But, but what about debit card? No, no debit card. It has little to no discount, no sign-up gifts, and worst of all, a debit card gives everyone direct access to your money in the bank. So if touch wood, someone steals your card, you can lose all your money from your bank account, yeah? So no debit card, use a credit card instead. If you are not sure which card to get, you can check out my credit card strategy videos for some ideas, yeah? Next, supermarkets. Always buy in bulk whenever you can. For example, if you buy two boxes of Kleenex tissues for whatever purpose, you will save $2.95 or 22% of your purchase. Also, did you know that supermarkets announce their weekly sale every Thursday or Friday? Items that are on sale will have discounts anywhere from 14% all the way to 40 plus percent. So if you can time your purchases properly, you'll be able to save a lot of money. Besides that, you can compare prices between supermarkets to see who sells it the cheapest. An easy way to do that is by using the Price Kaki app. For example, we can see that for Chew's cage-free fresh eggs, Prime has the lowest price, while it's slightly more expensive at fair price. Also, be sure to check out online platforms like Q10, Shopee, and Redmart because they may be selling at a lower price. For example, Huggies diapers from Shopee cost slightly cheaper than fair price. Additionally, by buying online, you will earn cash bags through ShopBack. To do that, just install ShopBack into your browser. Then, whenever you buy online, just activate ShopBack to receive the cash bags. Sign up link down below, yeah? One more tip, be sure to sign up for the supermarket memberships. For fair price, the points are worth 1.3% cash back. For Giant and Cold Storage, it's worth 0.67% cash back. I know it's not worth a lot, but over time, they can actually add up to quite a bit, yeah? Quick pause, we are now in November, and you know what that means? Even more sign up bonus from Weibo. Weibo has further increased their sign up bonus to $150 US cash voucher. All you need to do is deposit at least 2,000 SGD in the Weibo, buy a US stock or an US ETF with a minimum transaction of at least 100 US dollars. Then buy one option on the US market while maintaining a 2,000 SGD net account value for that 30 days and you will receive all your free rewards. So if you are interested, you can sign up with my link down below. With that being said, 
Let's get back to the video. Next, dining. Many restaurants give student discounts. Hint, you don't need to be a student, yeah? All you need is to look like a student and a student card. And you'll be able to enjoy student discounts. A website called Confirm Good has compiled a huge list of places that give student discounts, which I will link down below. So be sure to check them out to take advantage of these student discounts. But of course, nothing beats cooking at home. Everyone will tell you, just cook at home lah. You can save a ton of money by cooking at home. But what they don't tell you is that you have to do a ton of cleaning up after cooking. So here's my pro tip. Cook with a rice cooker. Go to Google or YouTube and search for rice cooker meals and you'll find a ton of simple rice cooker recipes. Or if you understand Chinese, search for Tian Fan Guo Si Pu where you will get even more recipes. Most of them just involve cutting up the stuff, putting them into the rice cooker and boom, you are done. And best of all, not much cleaning needed. However, if you are too lazy to cook, Here's my next tip. Go check out the roast section at supermarkets. They are selling roasted whole chicken for a super low price of $5 to $6. These items are called a loss leader, where they sell it at a loss in order to attract shoppers to come visit. So if you are lazy to cook, you can buy a roast chicken for $5, a veggie at $2, boy and egg, and ta-da! You just prepare two meals for the entire day at just $4 per meal. But if you want to eat out, check out dining deals. An easy way to find deals is through telegram channels such as SG Gyasu Foodies and SG Food Deals where they will share new deals every day. Or if you have a HSBC card, you can get the entertainer with HSBC app where you'll be able to enjoy exclusive one-for-one -one offers and dining discounts. Next, right hailing. While it's best to take public transportation as much as you can, sometimes there's no choice and you are forced to take a taxi. So to save money, don't take taxi lah. Just kidding. So here's my tip. You don't have to just take Grab all the time. There are actually a lot of alternatives to choose from like Gojek, Ride, Tada and Comfort Delgro. So let's say if I want to go to the city area, what you will notice is that each of them have different pricing. Sometimes Grab is the cheapest, other times it's another app. So try to compare and see which has the cheapest ride when you are taking taxis. Then I'm sure you will say, but there are more Grab cars around, so it's easier to find a ride. Yes, that's true, but from my experience, ComfortDelGro and GoJet are both equally easy to find a ride too. That's because some drivers have multiple apps on their phone. So they will just accept rides from whichever apps that comes first. In summary, compare between apps when taking a ride. Similarly, for food delivery, there's also other alternatives other than just grab food. You have Food Panda and Deliveroo. And again, there's usually a price difference between the three apps. So before ordering, compare and see which app has the lowest pricing. Another tip is to choose the self pickup option. That way, you will save on delivery fees. The reason you would use them is maybe you are passing by the restaurant, but you don't want to queue and wait for the food. In that case, self pickup would be a good idea. However, just take note that sometimes ordering through the app may be more expensive versus ordering through the counter. Yeah. Besides that, if you are always ordering food through the app all the time, be sure to sign up for their subscription plans. For example, Grab Unlimited lets you save $4 on food deliveries and 20% off self pickup. The plan costs just $8 per month. Panda Pro gives you unlimited free food delivery, 25% off pickup, and the plan costs anywhere between $3 to $5 per month. Deliveroo Plus lets you save delivery fees, and it costs up to $13 per month. A rough calculation shows that you will break even after 3 to 5 orders every month. Next, for electric bills, switch to open electric retailers to get a cheaper price. As of April 2021, there were still half of the households who haven't switched over. Why you guys never switch over? Ah? You like throwing money away, is it? The easiest way to choose which retailer to sign up 
is by checking out Sidley's comparison chart. Here, you can see that Gineco has the cheapest price. With all the inflation and war going on, chances are electric tariffs will continue going up. If that's the case, the best choice would be to sign up for the 24 months plan to lock in the rates for as long as you can. Pro tip, when signing up, always make sure to get the referral codes to enjoy additional discounts, yeah? Next, for internet bills, most people will just sign up for the 1 Gbps plan. But if you are just surfing the web, watching YouTube, watching Netflix, you don't even need a 1 Gbps plan. Check this out. For Netflix, even at the highest setting, you will only need a 15 Mbps speed. For YouTube, it's just 20 Mbps speed. You only need a 1 Gbps plan if you do intense stuff like playing online games or video game streaming. But other than that, just a 500 Mbps plan is good enough. If that is the case, just sign up for the plan with M1 at just 2990. By doing so, you will save quite a bit of money off your money internet bills. Finally, phone plans. Unless a company has a corporate phone plan, never ever sign a phone plan that comes with a phone because that is super expensive. Instead, get a SIM only plan, then get the phone separately. Second, get a phone plan that suits your needs. For example, since I use less than 10 GB data every month, I got the MyRepublic mobile light plan that costs just $10. It's riding on the StarHub M1 line and the coverage is actually quite good, yeah? And even if I exceed the data limit, I won't be charged anything, unlike other telcos. The data will just be throttled, that's all. Or if you need more data, my Republic mobile call gives you 60 GB plus bonus 20 GB for the first six months at just $17. So sign up for a phone plan that suits your needs. You can check out this Sidley's website for the full list, which I will link down below, yeah? Last but not least, online shopping. I'm sure most of you guys have better tips than me, but here are some tips that I know. For Q10, be sure to collect the daily lock-in rewards. You will receive coupons which can then be used to offset your next purchase. Install ShopBack on your browser to enjoy additional cashbacks. Besides that, do check out the ShopBack website to find time-limited deals and offers. Take advantage of monthly sale events like 1010, 1111, and 12.12. That way, you will enjoy tons of discounts. If you understand Chinese, the best place to buy stuff is from Taobao. The items here are super cheap because you know China. Otherwise, the alternative is to check out AliExpress, which is in English. And even though it's from China, the quality of the stuff here is actually quite good. Like I've seen people buying furniture, lights and fans from Taobao before. And to be honest, they look really good. Anyway, those are just some of my tips on how to save money. If you know more, do share them down in the comments below, yeah? Like, share and subscribe as I'll be hosting new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday.